But uh, this has got an 11-inch motor on it, and this thing is too oh, powerful. That's too big. Uh, actually, in first gear, he can rip the axles out of it. Oh, my gosh. So he drives around, he puts it in fourth gear, and just leaves it in fourth gear and drives continuously with it. Is that right? Belongs to an eye surgeon up in uh, Kansas City. Yeah. It's got power steering, it's got electric heat, it's got air conditioning. It does everything the original mm -hmm. car should sure. do. And you have all the batteries in the back? Yeah. Okay. I'll show you. Oh man, that's a huge, that is a huge yeah, engine. A Whoa! Motor. That's one of those, is that that uh, pack out? But they're, uh, they're gel batteries, so there's no okay, gas. There's gel battery. There's no venting, no gassing, no nothing. Right. Uh, because they're inside. If right. they were, Wait, you know, yeah. I got to get the original springs were only good for 300 pounds each. Right. Because there was nothing in the back, even right. though it's a four wheel drive. Right. Uh, it carried no weight. Yeah. Um, the Hyundai Accent I did, I can show you pictures of that. Yeah. Um, another man in Texas. Really? Yeah. He had a, a 07 I did, uh -huh. and it had lithium ion batteries, and uh -huh. those springs, you can actually take them and move them. They're so weak. Well, it's a Hyundai, it's a throwaway car. Oh, okay. That's so true. they did, that company uh, did the same thing, uh, Coil Springs Specialties, they did the same thing. Okay. But because the vehicle was so new, they had yeah. nothing to go by, so I had to send them the springs. Oh, the old springs. Yeah, yeah. And just that came out of it. Yeah, yeah they real and I. They said, "How much weight are you carrying?" And I said, "Make it up for about 750 pounds." Yeah. And he said, "What are you doing with these things?" So I told him, and they came down. They delivered. Them. Yeah. They came down from St. Mary, Kansas. They wanted to see what was going on here. Sure. So they were even thinking of getting one of their in-town delivery trucks. And we got it. Wow. Um, I don't like to keep that open because the light's always hot. Yeah. This one here, this is AC. Okay. Oh, it's an AC motor. Yeah. Really? So no transmission? Well, it still has the transmission. Oh, it still has the transmission? Yeah. Okay. And it's on charge because I so just had it out on the road. It, I had it up to about 80. Okay. So you've got... It's just easier it's on the whole system really? with the transmission. With the transmission? Yeah, because you're running the engine that, or the motors at higher RPM and your torque is divided through the gearing. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it actually is a benefit. Unless you've got a motor strong enough that yeah. it doesn't need it. Like that 11 over there. Pretty much. Yeah, if you put a Transwarp 11 in there. But I had to put the Trans in there because it's front wheel drive. Right. I just had yeah, to. On the front wheels, you're going to have to have a Trans. Right. Now, that El Camino over there, that's mine. Yeah. That's going to have 120 kWAC drive, no transmission. Okay. With a torque multiplier on it. Okay. So it's going to have uh, a 3 to 1 torque multiplier. So at the output shaft, It'll probably be running around 1,300 pounds of torque. Okay. Yeah, and it's going to be very fast. Yeah. It'll be running 450 volts, 400 cycles. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it'll be running right right at 400 cycles. This is uh, switching at 400 cycles also. Is it really? How many volts is this one running? 330. Oh man. So you're doing high voltage stuff. Yeah. Where do we lift up? Right in the front. Right here. Yeah. So you just, you just hinged it out there? Yeah. And it's all bolted on prior to that? Yeah. Everything else is just bolts and you just had to put those hinges on? Right. Take all the bolts out except the front ones right here. Yeah. And then you just lift the bed up, slide the hinges under and weld. Except for, You're which kidding. One? This one right here. Except for this one. Leave them in there for bed alignment. Okay. And then uh, when you're done, take those bolts out. Yeah. And that's it. How does it line up after you put it down? Yeah. Line. Oh, he's got the hinges on it now. Then, yeah, but it's still going to do a. No, these are tight. Okay. When when you when you, you take them all out except the front ones. And those you don't even lose or anything. You leave them. Leave exactly. them tight. Yeah. And, and then, then you can just just enough you can lift it up. I use my knee to push it up. Let me let this down. Okay. I forgot my stick. See, when I put the gas struts on here, one person can lift the light up and oh, stay sure. on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so you put yeah you can put those gas struts. But there's, because this is a, st a standard bed uh -huh. and the short beds, yeah, I've got you can only bed. put six batteries here. Oh, okay. Six on the other side, then you put eight back there. Oh, okay. And what you got to do, regardless what you may think, you're going to have to do this to the springs. What's that? You got to build you, them up? Beef yeah, them up. beef them up real yeah, yeah. high. Because if you yeah. take a look through here, yeah. you see where the boxes are in relationship to the differential? Uh-huh. Now, when I put 900 pounds of batteries in there, move down. it's going to go down. Yeah. You need the clearance, or you're going to yeah. bounce up. The differential is going to hit yeah. the battery Being boxes. Being one of those batteries, huh? Right. Okay. Now, with the gas struts on here, yeah. one person can lift. Yeah. 
Yeah. And it'll stay up in the air. Yeah. Now, this they still need to be painted, and there's a urethane undercoating out uh -huh. that dries hard. And that's yeah, my I've, insulation. I've, I've heard about that stuff. Once I spray the bottom of the boxes and everything like that, then yeah. the batteries, there'll be no leakage from the battery to the metal frame. Okay. Now, this is all lead. Have you started using the new lithiums yet? Yeah, I put right. a few of them out. How do you like them? Uh, for the price, I don't think they're worth it. Yeah. Uh, the, the only other thing about it is there nobody's made a battery management system that's worth the shit. We're all, almost there. You're almost there? <laughs> almost yeah. there. Because He's the got the I designs. Did, He's just going just, to make the board. Here, I'll show you something that I got here. There's yeah. all oh, all the okay. batteries. I've been looking at them. Those These are, are 260 amp hour batteries. Really? Yeah. Feel them. Man. 260. Yeah. And that's and this is a 3.2 volt or? 4.2, uh, four two. Four two? Four two is what they do. Okay. Yeah. Four two, and they've got a. This is is this aluminum? Yeah. And no. that's copper. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And that's uh, what's the stud size on here? <laughs> half inch. Is it half inch standard? Yeah. No, it's metric. Metric. What's the thread? Got me. <laughs> you, you got there's a stud you right there. You got a bolt for it. No, that ain't a stud. I Hold got on. the bolts over here. Oh, you got those over there. Okay. Four point two volts, two hundred and wow. Man, that's a battery. Yeah. And his only thing. problem is battery management. Yeah. That's what it says. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, I need to see that. There is a, do by S10. doing it by stages and yeah. by doing it by repetition, I've made all the mistakes. Oh, sure. And I will pat myself on the back because I did a lot of screw-ups back in the 70s. I did. <laughs> I mean, if you saw some of my first one, you would laugh. It was a Morris Minor. Really? And it had a 5,000-pound Clark electric forklift motor in it. No controller, it was all contactor. Really? Yeah, it had three speeds <laughs> by contactors. Uh, no, you just put it in forward. And, yeah, uh, right. I bolted, I made a coupler and I made a adapter plate for it. And actually I was surprised because vibration was down to a minimum. Hmm. Uh, you could actually scramble an egg on a hood. <laughs> Still in the shell. But I only had to go 10 miles with it and I <laughs> knew it wasn't going to be perfect. Right. There were six volt batteries in there, 12 volt batteries. They were on the back seat. They were in the trunk. I had no brakes. No the transmission I locked in fourth gear, yeah. took the stick out, yeah. and just reversed the motor. Yeah. But it had no brakes. <laughs> I wanted to come to a stop, I just <laughs> put it in reverse and just hit the accelerator real light. <laughs> and it would stop dead. Yeah. And paint would slide off. off the hood just about. <laughs> but I eventually fixed the brakes. Yeah. Because I couldn't get parts for that car. Oh, that's funny. It was a 59 Morris Minor, yeah. and you know. My God, I found it in a junkyard and I bought it for $20. Yeah, yeah. But from that point on, each one that I did got better and better until yeah. I actually sat down one day and decided to make myself a plan. Yeah. And that's where I came up with this. Now, everybody in the industry copies that. Yeah. Uh, they copy my adapter plates. I don't care. They're not patented. Yeah. Um, I'm doing more than anybody else in the country, actually, North America. Hmm. Um, and I'm probably making. Uh, a minute longer than anybody else, I know that. Well, that's for sure. But it's time for me to get out of it. I'm serious. Okay. But if, if you want to sit down, we can. I can go over everything you need. Oh, that's super. Now we would. 